Most commercial fisheries you'll visit these days, they'll all have some, kind of something to talk to, like an island or, you know, it might be a sunken island or a bar. And this demands accurate fishing where you'd be constantly using the line clip. Now, some anglers struggle when they come to use the line clip. Um, they'll either cast too hard and hit the line clip too hard so it's forcing your feeder back and, you know, that bait as it enters the water, it's all coming off. Other anglers simply don't like to use the line clip, so, you know, the, some cast will be a couple of metres short or the cast they might go squirrel and go on the island i've done it myself so it does happen basically i want to run you through how i go about you know clipping up so you can get good accurate casting all the time now the island on this particular lake is roughly around 40 yards away now what you don't want to do is go under guns you don't want to be using sort of like eight or nine foot little bomb rods for this kind of game 10 footers will probably get you there, but you might be putting a bit of too much force on. An 11 foot rod, such as the one I'm using today, will be perfect. This will comfortably chuck distances up to sort of 55, 60 yards with ease. So first things first, make sure, you know, obviously your gear's up to the job. I've got a decent sized reel on, it's a 4,000 reel, and I've loaded it with six pound Maxima. Now, on your initial cast, it's very important that you don't give it some beans and, as I said, go schooling. You want to ease your way up to the island. So, your first cast, do it a little bit shorter. So, you can see there, we've probably landed, I don't know, around five or six metres off. So, what I'm going to do, let out a little bit of line, and I'll put that line in that clip. I'll talk you through a unique feature about these ACS reels in a sec. So, I'll wire them back. Now, hopefully this one should be there or thereabouts. As you see, we're quite close to the island there. Now, what I don't like to do initially is to go right tight to the island. I like to start off about a foot off, something like that, so the fish have got somewhere to back off to. Um, next thing to do is to clip up on that. Now, the beauty of these ACS reels, which I'll show you, is we've got it's called an auto clip system so this is your normal line clip here which i'm putting the line under now it's not so bad when you're fishing up to ireland but when you're fishing in open water obviously if you had a big fish on that just kept running and running you know you'd be panicking about getting that line out of the clip before it snaps you the beauty of the acs if we put it in that clip there and then always make sure that it's facing that way i'll just do a couple of rounds so i can show you so I've got a bit of line on that reel now. Now, if I was in open water and that fish wanted to take line, you watch what happens with that clip. See how it comes out? And now that's the absolutely, you know, brilliant, brilliant idea of the Matt Boys, you know. It's a fantastic, unique idea to us. And it's something that I use time and time again in open water where, you know, you need that accuracy. As I say, it's not so much important for Ireland because obviously they can't swim that way, so generally they'll swim back towards you. But I'll still use it on Ireland just in case they want to kite, you know, left and right. So we'll pop that back in our clip. And as I say, make sure it's facing down away from you. And we'll wind back. And I'll just talk you through now how I like to cast. Basically, when I'm doing my coaching, I'll find a lot of anglers, when, I, when they go to cast, they'll wind, wind the feeder right the way up to the rod tip. That's all right if you're chucking it distances of, you know, sort of 50, 60 yards, but if it's just a nice, comfortable sort of 35, 40 yard chuck where the island is, let out a little bit more line. I, I like to have roughly sort of four, five foot drop. Now, the other thing I'll do as well is I'll always cast over my left shoulder. So when I've got that feeder landing in front of me, I'm just coming straight back over my shoulder and casting it straight away. You'll see I don't pause whatsoever. The trouble comes, especially for accuracy, is when you pause, that feeder behind is acting like a pendulum. That's why I'll never sort of mend it round. The traditional way of casting of most people is to mend that rod round. And what's happening, your feeder is coming round in an arc, and when it's behind you, it's just going like a pendulum. So some cast you'll go over there, some cast you'll go there, and inevitably some cast you'll get right. But the way I cast, it virtually always goes in the spot where you're, where you're aiming at. So as I say, a nice four or five foot drop, point the, the feeder or the bomb to where you want it to go, and then it's just a case of coming straight back over your shoulder and giving it quite a bit of force. It can't possibly go past that clip, remember, so that's why you can give it quite a bit of force. So just make sure the line's free, look to where you want it to cast to, 
and then it'll go absolutely perfect every single time. Now, the other thing you've got to bear in mind, especially if you're method feeder fishing, is you can't move that feeder once it's in. So what you don't want is a tight line somewhere out there and then you, re you, you know, where your rod rest is around here, because what you'll have to do is move that feeder to get onto your rod rest. So what you want to do is get into the rhythm of when you're casting, bring that rod right back to feather it and lower it down this side just before your, your rod rest. So you've got enough slack line to wind down into it and just have a slight bend on your tip and then you're just waiting for the fish then.